Huh. I just got a great idea. I just had a great idea. Let's look at some large scale drilling techniques. Geothermal roughnecks, man. Nah. Oh, 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 sometimes, sometimes I just get so excited about this stuff. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Just exactly what is it that you need for geothermal energy? Well, uh, usually we use water to transfer our heat from the earth to the area, maybe the home, or transfer the heat to a steam turbine. But the whole idea is we need heat, we need water, and guess what? When you get into deep, deep water drilling semi-submersible rigs like the Maersk developer, you got it all right there. Now this is for oil and gas once again, but it could be applied to geothermal also. And uh, seeing how we've got a lot of water right there, it's the perfect situation. Huh? Check it out. Welcome to the Maersk Developer, the first in a series of three ultra deep water semi submersibles delivered to Maersk drilling between 2009 and 2010. The state of the art design of the rigs was made in collaboration between Maersk drilling, Kettlefelt, and marine structure consultants, based on input from customers and service providers to oil companies. The rigs are designed to operate in moderate mid ocean conditions in water depths of up to 10,000 feet and they are capable of drilling to a depth of 30,000 feet. They have been designed to drill in complete deep water wells and install subsea facilities with optimum efficiency. The rigs are dynamically positioned semi-submersible with eight 4 megawatt thrusters and have a transit speed of 7 knots. They also have eight anchor winches for use with a pre-laid mooring system. With a displacement of 53,000 metric tons at drilling draft and a variable deck load of 7,000 metric tons, the rigs have large storage capacities for the operator's consumables and also provide dedicated and optimized extensive deck space and layout for the operator's equipment. The design has been developed to deliver a safe, efficient and innovative high-end drilling tool to the industry. Mass drilling believes that the way to increase efficiency and safety is to increase the mechanization of the drilling process. Essential to this process is the selection and hiring of the correct personnel to operate the equipment. The senior crews for these rigs are involved 18 months in advance of the rig going to work in order to go through a vigorous training and familiarization process. Let us look at this rig in more detail. The central control room or bridge is located on top of the accommodation block. Dynamic positioning, ballast control and principal alarm monitoring is conducted from here. office space and conference facilities on the upper deck is available for the rig crew, the clients representatives and third party service companies. Accommodation is provided for 180 personnel consisting of 10 single and 85 two berth cabins. The five decks provide all the facilities you would expect of a floating hotel including 270 square meters of recreational space. We'll now move our attention to the features for enhanced efficiency, starting out with the drill floor and tubular handling systems.
Within the derrick, there are two hoisting systems, the main and the auxiliary. The main line activity takes place on the right-hand side and the offline activity on the left-hand side. The derrick itself is rated to 3 million pounds combined load. The main hoisting system is outfitted with a 2 million pound capacity, while the auxiliary is rated to 1.5 million pounds. We have designed the rig to be able to achieve dual handling activities. As seen... Truly large scale in every aspect. <clears throat> and well, what's important here is that you see the, the uh, blowout, or the BOP blowout preventer. The way they staged the pipe here. Mechanical, the robotics. The derrick and drill floor on the cellar deck, which provides a greater pipe setback capacity and a lower center of gravity. There is in excess of 50,000 feet setback capacity for drill pipe, and we can rack from 16-inch casing to 7-inch liner with capacity for 15,000 feet or 7-inch liner. Here we can see the pipe being delivered from its storage area at the aft of the drill floor. It is a safe and efficient system, controlled and monitored by the assistant driller by means of a CCTV system while the driller is running the pipe into the well. So we've kind of looked at the, the basic... ...trifuges for zero discharge operations when required, and as mentioned before, there is ample deck space and storage capacity for any combination of cuttings, handling, and disposal. We have a... See, this is the issue here with the mudding or the tailings. So if we get into a laser application, who knows, you might take this whole thing down by 90%. But it is kind of handy having it be this big so it can deal with uh, some of the things that go on in the ocean. Storms and stuff. ...of 1,360 cubic meters. The 18 and 3 quarter inch 15,000 PSI BOP has two annulars and six ram preventers. BOP, remember that's the uh, blowout pre prevention device. So that's a pretty big baby there. They're going to take it and swing it into the moon pool and stick her in the water. The riser is stored vertically forward of the drill floor and we're able to store 9,600 feet. We see the riser handling crane delivering the 75 foot clip riser joints to the drill floor handling system where a double is being prepared to be connected to the BOP. Here we can see the riser running tool being remotely made up to the riser joint. The riser guidance arm centralizes the riser joint over the riser spider. So here's the details that uh, you don't, not, don't really have to be concerned with. But this is another job opportunity for you. I don't know about that new movie that's out. Want to do that or not? See, the right. riser is made up with clip connectors. From stab to make up of the connector takes. Tw Dropping the BOP now. Blowout preventer. Twelve seconds. This represents. Of course, in that string. This Street system has a two million pound trip saver feature. Which two million pound trip saver feature. Two million pounds. Nice. And you see the mini subs down here. That's another job you might get, huh? Cruising around one of those. Whoa. Who knows what you might see down there, huh? Wow. Now, if you'd like to get some more of the details on this, it's available in the central column of your course. You can look at the whole thing at your leisure, if you would like. This one uh, was put in the course a little while ago, so you go through the a second step here, EGS drilling deep water. Enhanced geothermal systems, EGS, correct? Enhanced geothermal systems. Another really nice thing that you can do with water, huh? Check these guys out. It's pretty sweet.
Oh yeah. So now we have to apply this to geothermal energy, correct? Remember, geothermal energy uh, creates the, the wave forms, and we're going to look at some pretty nice uh, toroidal applications here. It's just kind of a preview for when we look at uh, toroidal energy. But uh, the ocean and the waves generated in the ocean, check out some toroidal arcs, some toroidal rings, toroidal energy based in geothermal. Yeah, check it out. Why is it doing that? I was a shark I'd think yeah dinner time Ooh, yeah. Check this baby out, huh? Ooh, yeah. Tubular. That's right where I want to be. That's a nice ride.